Hey everybody, um, welcome back. Um, I am back with another video. Um, this one is going to be for bail transportation. Um, just a disclaimer, um, I did pretty much let Vale know that I was going to be pretty much um, making a video um, expressing um, the issues that I've dealt with and like my experiences um and to kind of like let people know that if there's a problem please you know like let veo know um so basically veo knows that i'm making this video basically um to let people know like okay like if you have a problem like with either like the driver that's picking you up to take you to like your appointment, um, pick me up from home to take you to your appointment or to pick you up from the appointment to take you back home. If there's an issue to and from, like, your appointments, please let Veo know, um, if there's an issue with an agent because the, the agent is being, like, rude or whatever the case may be, let, make that complaint please make these complaints if you have an issue with like, a driver um to and from to and or from appointments if you have an issue with agent um if you um have an appointment or like a ride right like ready and you don't get picked up or you haven't been contacted yet to you know from the driver like you know, like, to say that they are from Vail, or, like, working with Vail, that they are a provider through Vail, and they don't contact you, like, either call or text or whatever the case may be, um, if they don't contact you in any way, like, like, if the company that was assigned to pick you up and to drop you, to take you back and forth to a po the appointment, um, for that day, um, if they don't contact you, please call in and make that complaint to say to figure out like what's going on to let they know like that they never picked you up they will do some digging while they're on the call with you um you know so that way then they can get it taken care of they can get that complaint put in um because i had this issue where i had um, an appointment um, on August 10th, 2023. Um, I had called like on like Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Monday that I had called in, um, you know, to get the trip um, set up. And I had called like the, the morning of, I had called like around like nine o'clock a.m., give or take, you know, to get that point you know just to see if they had found any money and they said that they had did and then by like 12 p.m approximately like 12 p.m um from what they were telling me that the company that had accepted the trip they ended up um canceling out the trip completely they never they never let Veo know that they they were having to cancel like completely cancel out the trip you know that they had just put it in the notes that they had to cancel um and then had called like because i was supposed to be picked up at, at like a certain time never was so i had called and said okay well you know like i was never picked up like i had never gotten like a call or a text from the driver um, I have not been picked up yet from home to get to the appointment. I'm just wondering what the heck's going on. Um, so they were like, well, the first agent was like, well, like, let me look into it. Um, and then somehow when she, when that agent was working with me, they, I get transferred to somebody else. Um, you know, because she was making calls to the company that was supposed to pick me up. Um, and then she got back in line. She's like, I'm still, 
working on it, you know, and then before she got back on, like, she's like, okay, I'll be right back. Um, so she never came back. Call got transferred over to somebody else. Um, I think they, I was transferred over to escalations. So I had to re-explain the whole situation to escalations and to say, okay, this is the issue. Um, the escalations department, they're like, well, you know, like I'll look into it. Come to find out they had found it in the notes that the driver had completely canceled out that trip. Um, and with basically not calling bail at all. Um, so, um, that kind of like pissed me off, um, that that company had did that. And basically the lady that had, the, the escalations department agent had called the company that was supposed to pick me up and they're like, well, we are showing that you had, that you guys had canceled the ride and that you guys had put it as that the member canceled when the member did not cancel, like, at all. Um, so, that company, so, there was a complaint put in. Um, the company got in trouble, um, thankfully. Um, you know, so, you know, I suggest, like, if you ever have this, if you guys ever have this issue with, like, medical transportation through, like, insurance, um, please make these complaints and tr get it taken care of. Um, and then, um, so I ended up having to call, like, the facility, like, 15 minutes before I was supposed to be there to say, yes, like, the medical transportation never showed up. I have to reschedule. Um, so when they had looked into it, they had found that the company that was supposed to pick me up was in the run. Um, so they basically told the company that if they don't have enough drivers, do not be accepting any more um, trips if they don't have enough drivers. Um, you know, things like that. Um, you know, and that they have to follow by the guidelines and the procedures that they are giving. Um, and then I've always had, like, where... Like, I can go and call in, and I can be, like, talking to the agents real nice. Um, talking to them for, ugh, professionally, where I can be talking to them real nice and professional, like, like, not with an attitude. And then there's times where, like, I can be talking to them real nice. And then I get agents that could be having a bad day that will take it out on me. They will have an attitude with me, be very unprofessional, be very negative,